Welcome back to Living 808. We are here at Ferguson Showroom for Hawaii's Kitchen. Today we're featuring a new restaurant that just opened in December. It's called TR Fire Grill. It's in Waikiki. Uh, I'm here with the general manager, J.R. Hoffman, and we've got executive chef Kurt joining us. Um, tell us exactly where the restaurant is in Waikiki. We're located right across the street from the new International Marketplace. Okay. Yes. I know exactly where that is. And what about parking? Uh, we do have limited parking uh, in the hotel with okay. Elite. Okay. And what hotel is that? The Hilton Garden in Waikiki Beach. Okay. So you're in that hotel, the yes. restaurant is. Okay. Um, so what is the first step to making our ceviche? Well, the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that our fish is nice and fresh and we want to mm -hmm. chop it into about half inch pieces like so. So what kind of fish are you using today? Using ahi tuna and this is a number two plus uh, medium grade which is fine for this. It's not a sashimi grade. Mm -hmm. um, sashimi would be a little too fine. You'd lose the flavor profile with the uh, acid that it will be cooking up in so to speak. Okay. Now do you always use this kind of fish when you're making this dish at the restaurant? You know I would vary it with uh, opa probably maybe some steelhead um, some kajiki when the season offers uh, those fish um, in bounty uh, okay. right now. Ahi tuna is at a fairly reasonable price, so it's also fun to work with and it has a neutral kind of flavor to it. Yeah. I love ceviche. I'm excited to try this dish. So is this one of your more popular uh, menu items? Uh, we feature this on our happy hour, or what we call our local hour. Our local hour. Yes. Okay, and what time is your local hour? Uh, it is from 2 o'clock to 7 o'clock every day. Every day, seven yes, days a week? seven days a week. Terrific. Good. Um, so what are some of the more popular dishes uh, on your menu? Um, off of our menu, we have a salmon and zoodles. That seems to be probably one of our top. Uh, and that's actually a nice piece of salmon, which will rest on our noodles made from zucchinis yes so okay because i thought you said zoodles and zoodles, i was like what's yes. a zoodle i've never heard That's of zoodles what a zoodle is okay our all-american burger is also a winner probably number one off of everything okay. and then we have a great chicken and waffles which is finished with our agave syrup okay now since you just opened i haven't been to your restaurant yes. yet but is this a casual restaurant or do I would we have say to dress casual up? yes casual? you can bring okay. the family by or if you're on, out on a date definitely it, it has a beautiful setting as well okay so. uh, do you need to make reservations or do you accept walk-ins uh both okay. reservations are easy you can call us directly or you can go to open table as well okay. and then you can all, always just walk in as well okay terrific so what are you doing now chef Adding a little bit of sea salt to balance out the flavors. I have chopped chive in there. Okay. A little bit of crushed red pepper that I smoked in a saute pan earlier today. Right. Um, and then we're going to add about a tablespoon and a half of a mixture of pineapple and lime juice. Okay. The pineapple juice will cut the tartness of the lime juice. The lime juice, I need the acid to help cook the fish. Yum. And then we're just going to take it around the block a couple times. Okay. Throw in a couple of mint sprigs. And I love that you work with local farmers and you try to use, you know, obviously the freshest, most, you know, local ingredients. Well, I think we'd be insane not to. I think that, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of good farmers out there working very hard for us. And I think mm -hmm. that, you know, if we're going to buy produce in the store that's local, why not use it in the restaurant? Sure. All right, so we are going to go ahead and plate that up. But coming up in our last segment, I am really excited because we are going to make one of your signature desserts. It's called a walnut. A walnut, yes. A walnut. I have no idea what that is, but we're all going to find out together coming up in our next segment. Huh, that sounds cool, a walnut. Okay, I now know what the walnut mm -hmm, is, mm -hmm. and it is amaze balls. So uh, you definitely <laughs> want to stay tuned. I for love that. that and the the concept of ceviche, you know, having it cook in that, I think that's just such a a unique dish that's so cool to have. Very nice. Yeah.